Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you can see up above me, there's no blue sky, no sun peeking through whatsoever. Going through a spell of some uh, darker days, so catching less solar, of course. Uh, still doing okay. And taking your guys' advice on uh, remedying that... Uh, voltage issue on what we've been calling the freezer system and we're going to go step by step and get that thing figured out today i'm going to try and start with the uh, things that will involve the least amount of time and effort <laughs> uh, time's always an issue so anyway uh, let's get on to it here yeah i'm not going to see much sun today if if at all actually all right, so just this morning I started really diving into your comments about this system. I'm calling it the freezer system. I showed you guys all the components of this. Uh, we are actually gaining a little bit. I have uh, not been using this system as I monitor it and try to figure out what's going on, but you can see where we are charging. And let's look, and I wanted to show you guys a couple of comparisons that I thought were very interesting. So as we talked about um, the voltage not being what it should be, uh, that continues. 500 watts of solar in series coming into this system right now. And as I just showed you guys, it's dark and gray out there. Only 43 watts coming in off of 500 watts. Even under those conditions, I would expect that to be better. So still suspicious of those panels. And then just as a comparison out there on that array, I do have my 48 volt system tied in. Uh, they're all at the same basic angle. There's no shading going on. Uh, 700 watts of solar in series here, getting 108 uh, watts. But there's the thing. Look at the voltage. Nice. Looking, looking really, really good. And then I wanted to show you just what yesterday looked like, too, on this. Uh, go to the history here. So yesterday is this big spike here. And you can see, and we're on the 48-volt system, you know, with 700 watts of solar in series. Uh, the most we saw, we did see 650 watts at some point in time, caught 1.76 kilowatt hours of power, which is nice. So, you know, that 48-volt system, uh, just plugging along, looking real good. Today, so far, 660 watt hours. We've already, so far, at one point today, seen 650 watts coming in off that uh, array. So let's look at the past two days for this freezer system here. And it gives you a good comparison of like something's not quite right with this. And let's go to the history real quick. And we can see now 500 watts of solar in series. The most we ever saw yesterday off of that was 120 watts. And, you know, when we, on the 48 volt system, we just saw it was well over 600 watts. Uh, of course, the voltage is, is lagging behind. And in the entire day, we caught 140 watt hours. Uh, yeah, so something's, something's goofy here, as we have already shown. <laughs> And then looking over all the comments, I mean, there's everything from the charge controller could be uh, not acting right and need to be replaced. Uh, you know, checking voltages between different things. The inverter has been off and uh, been just trying to charge that battery up, which it actually is charging up a little bit. But let's go, let's go step by step. Okay, so here we're looking at uh, this system right here uh, that we're working on. And you can see 500 watts of solar, only 40, you know, whatever, 30 some watts coming in. Look at that voltage, 27, 39, about 51. That's about as high as I see on here. Bouncing around, uh, 48 volt system, 
uh, just one moment later it's looking way better okay so first step let's let's go ahead and shut these panels off and then take a measurement of the array voltage uh, because we know it's reading in that 40th percentile 40 ish volts that's what i meant to say and uh, so let's shut this off and then take a reading and this is per robert out there in new york was a good suggestion all right that breaker is uh turned off and we're just measuring how that array looks now in voltage and that's about more like i would like to see uh, 90 89 volts uh, that jives much better than 45. We'll flip it back on and give it a moment to reconnect. Okay, it's all reset. We'll take a measurement again where the panels are coming into this breaker. And yeah, right back to... Make sure I got a good connection. Yeah, right back to what the app has been showing all along, the mid-40 volts. All right, and following those where they come off the breaker into the PV side of the charge controller and i've got the got it connected right there negative and positive and we're getting you know same same amount of wattage or voltage going into the charge controller i do have a another 130 charge controller up in the bungalow hall i can take down and bring it in here if need be but i want to try one thing first all right, so what I've done now is I brought out four other 100 watt panels that were not in use. Those are from the Calfa brand. I've done a review on those in the past, and they've just been sitting around collecting some dirt. And if I, these work, <laughs> I'll clean them up and drop them in place there. But for right now, I just laid them on top. I'm going to hook them up in series the same way that the five underneath it are. And we'll run inside and see if anything changes. Uh, huffing and puffing. But in between, I, I ran back into the house to try and get a shot of like, okay, let's see what how much watts are coming in. And I saw zero. And I was like, what's going on? Zero watts. It's because I've got those panels all covered up. So anyway, we'll see what it looks like when we tie these in series here in just a second. All right. I got these all tied in series. Uh, just hanging down for right now so I can go in and see what we've got. Hopefully, uh, this will remedy the situation. And why I tried this first, because I'm suspicious, as some of you have mentioned, that underneath, the panels underneath, which I've had problems with those panels melting before, that maybe some were in the process and the diodes are degraded. But let's go see. But those 400 watts are now in series, and hey, there's some sunshine. Quick dart into the house. And let's slip the solar back on, solar panels, and give it a minute. Okay, and although there's only 40-some watts coming in, it's pretty dark out there. Look at there. There's the voltage on four panels in series now. So I would expect that to be higher if there was five, which there always was before this issue started, but that voltage looks looks good. So it makes me think, like some of you guys were saying, that some of those diodes have been compromised and on the verge of melting out, like I have seen on three other of those panels. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean those four panels up and get them anchored down, and in the meantime, pull out those five from underneath it and I'll hook up a fifth one onto the end of that string we just hooked up but yeah I'm liking that I'm not worth I mean it's dark out there and let's go for a real quick comparison and see uh, what the 48 volt system is doing 700 watts in series and yeah see it's just not not great sunshine and that's just all that is but the voltage looks good on that system and now let's go back to the freezer uh, i've been running back and forth sorry for my huffing and puffing but yeah that voltage is looking good now and when the sun comes out a little bit better of course those watts will go up but yeah so something on that 
bottom string or that that five in series string is not acting right and we'll yank those panels out and look at them i'm a little bit relieved i was so hoping it wasn't uh the charge controller but i did have a backup for that in case it was but uh yeah it looks like those panels uh at least you know one or two or who knows how many will pop the covers off them when i get them off that array and see but I'm gonna, I got to be thinking that that's what it was, as per a lot of you guys suggested, and given my history with those new powers, I think we're going to find some, uh, some compromised diodes, and maybe they were just getting ready to fail, and that's why we were seeing that crazy voltage drop in the last video, but this is looking pretty good right now. We just need a little more sunshine now. All right, I got those four 100 watts tied in series. I just flipped the switch on. Uh, there we got 88 watts coming in and 67-ish volts. Okay, I'm going to be very happy about that. I had gone through and checked every little connection and, and everything looked good. So what I was thinking, uh, it was probably going to be that. Uh, I was still leaning towards more likely one of those new powers was failing and then i had a couple of you suggest maybe uh switching out the battery which i would have done if i wouldn't have seen these results so looking pretty good so there's the four that i just tied in series and they took up most of the space of the support for this array where with the other panels i was able to sneak a fifth one in uh, and get it over there but I'm not going to be able to do that here. I'll have to go with 400 watts. And that should really be uh, just fine for that system now that we've got the voltage corrected. And boy, I'm glad it turned out to be a, a solar panel issue because, like some of you were suggesting, it could have been the MC4 connections, which I had an awful lot of, and that would have taken a while to resolve. Tiptoeing around here. Okay, so now I can clean these panels up a little bit. All right, I just got the old ones lagged up here. Uh, I'm going to rest just for a second. We're going to start opening those up and look, see what we can see. Okay, so here's the first one of the new power. I had four of them on that string I just took down, and I just popped the cover off, and we've seen some pretty ugly stuff under these covers before. And uh, this one right off the bat doesn't look horrible. Except I do see what looks like a little scorch mark there. Kind of hard to tell. Maybe. Yeah, kind of does. Um, and, you know, we popped some of these open where there was a lot of melting going on with complete failure. So let's look at the rest of them. That's number one. Okay, just pop the cover off of the second panel. Again, this is another new power. All of these are 100 watt. Uh, that's looking pretty ugly, isn't it? We've seen that before. Yeah, not good. As you can see, lots of black scorching heat, maybe even a little melting. Yeah, don't like the looks of that one. Way worse than the first one we looked at. And here's the third panel. Uh, not as bad as that second one we looked at, but still looks like there could be some issues, right? I mean, I don't even see any solder connecting those ends of those diodes right there. And it looks like it's melted right there. So yeah, on a little closer inspection, yeah. Same thing there. That doesn't look good. Let's pop one. Let's go back to that second one. Oh, I've got it covered already. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Ugly. And here's the fourth and last one of the new power. Again, looks like maybe some solder was melting. That doesn't look right, does it? No, especially in the center. Yeah. And now we're looking at the fifth panel in that string, which this is a Bouge RV. 
Maybe the same kind of thing, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's the Bouge RV. Same basic specs. As you can see, a little bit shorter than the new powers that we just looked at. But, yeah. Yeah, not quite as ugly, but still not real pretty, huh? So all those panels, uh, the the new powers and the Bouge RVs, I all I bought over the past few years, they were real cheap, you know, right around a hundred bucks a piece. Um, I've had three previous new powers that they the plastic and everything inside there was melted. I know a lot of you have said that you won't even use those anymore, and you had some issues as well. Um, so I'm up and running now with that 400 watt string just put in. Got a little rain coming down, so there's no real solar, but I think that voltage issue is, is remedied now. But I won't be buying any more of these. Um, no, sure, sure won't. And I still have quite a few in production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I want to give a big thanks to every one of you that commented on that previous video. I was willing to do uh, everything you guys mentioned and you all had great ideas a lot of you had some of the same ideas and many of them were what's going on in the back of these panels uh, I, that looks to be the issue obviously with those new uh, the calphas hooked up now the voltage issues looking good I just looked it's dark and rainy at the moment but I had like 10 watts coming in so not a great day to to really monitor the uh, the change but it looks like that's going to do it uh, but yeah, thanks again to every one of you. I'd name all of you by name, but you know who you are. Uh, good friends of the channel, always helping me along. Thank you so much. I think we got it figured out. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. Hoping for a little sunshine now. Aloha, everybody. Mahalo.